good morning from me. It's Monday morning and it is 8.26. Reporting live from my car. I'm heading to a really exciting event. I'm going to the launch of Katie Jane Hughes' new makeup collection. And I'm so excited. I've known Katie for years. And um, it's very exciting that she's coming out with her own range. I think we're all fans of her here. So I'm moving this week. I thought originally this was gonna be a moving vlog, but then I just decided to vlog the week leading up to my move because I've actually got some stuff happening. We'll just vlog this week and then I'll turn the moving vlog into its own entity, if that makes sense. So look forward to that. So this week is like the chaos week, the prep week, um, the don't lose your mind week. And a lot of people were wondering why I'm moving again. I did just move like six months ago, which is crazy um, to be moving again. And obviously like I didn't anticipate this, but basically the reason we're moving is because we live in South London right now. And sorry, I've got something in my eye. We live in South London right now and all pretty much all of our friends live um, north or east. So honestly, just like commuting back and forth is draining. Like if, if you're not from London, like to go from like Peckham to Hackney will take you like an hour and 15 minutes. It's very long and it's kind of like impacting our social life. And originally we were like, it's gonna be no big deal. Like we can do it, it's fine. Cause I love South London. Um, but actually it's kind of been like really getting to us. And um, also I don't really have anything tying me to South London. Originally my office, like the Mirror Water office was in South London, but we decided to get rid of the office and go remote. Um, so I don't really have like anything tying me to South London anymore. And also where we're moving, there will be a co-working space. So it'll be just really convenient. And I'm super excited about moving actually. So that's why we're moving. Um, just to be closer to the people that we like to hang out with. I'm engaged! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, it's on Instagram. Yeah, no, I, I don't put them on Insta. See, yes, yeah, the tall guy. Yes, I do. You heard it here first. Yes, so we're engaged. But we're here to talk about you. What is all of this? Uh, this is so exciting. This is KJ's brand. That's my brand. It's going to be out in the next three weeks. Okay. This is the Hyper Shine Highlight Kit. And basically, I said to the lab that I wanted a highlight, so I want you to take the wet out and give it to me in a tube. Ah. Because I wanted you, I wanted the people at home using this to get a great kind of finish that they wanted. So you can use it direct like this and just sort of for like a really like dewy, dewy. Yeah. However, you can take it like this and mix it straight into the jar. Oh my gosh! And you can go right over the top. Oh wow! So it's designed to be mixed together or worn separately. You can use this on its own, you can use this on its own. This is amazing. The eyelids, the lips, the cheeks, the cuticles. Where can people buy it? Kjhbrand.com. Okay. Late September or early October. Okay. It's coming okay. soon. Very excited. When you open your box, you'll see two products. There's a, there's a jar and there's a tube. Chew. There's a jar and there's a tube. And inside the tube is like a, a, a serumy textured gloss that can be used on eyes, lips, cheeks, everywhere you want to put it. So everyone, say hello to the founder of Antipodes, which is probably the biggest brand in Australia, Australia and New Zealand. And we were just talking about the fact that the very first time we met was about 10 years ago at one of your product launches. It was, yes. Long. Time flies. Time yes. flies. I remember you were a fresh-faced um, beauty blogger. Yes. At the time, probably your first event, right? It was my very and I first. I this girl is going places. Yes, I'm sure you did, I'm sure you did. Um, but we're here looking at the entire range and I truly 
love the products. This was sort of the first range I fell for. The vanilla pod day cream, the night cream. I love the cleanser, the lip balm. You guys will definitely remember the Manuka honey mask. And now we're actually just talking about the retinol, which is an organic natural retinol. And we were just talking about the efficacy of it. If you had to pick your favorite product, I know you probably get asked that, but. Yeah. Well, that's a tricky one. So I'm a big believer in changing up your routine based on what your skin's telling you for different phases in your life and your diet and stress and everything else. But at the moment, um, I am definitely the bioretinols. I love it. I love oil-based products. I love highly nourishing, but, but um, highly efficacious formulas. So this plus lime caviar, which is seriously, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. And I can say this about my own products. I'm in love with this product. Wow. Yeah, it's rich, it's light, it's efficacious. It's got an incredible smell. New Zealand botanicals, AHAs, yeah. It does the job and honestly the texture is insane. Okay everyone, I'm getting an Antipodes facial. Let's go. Okay, this is the probiotic mask, which is very hydrating and probably helps to rebalance. Is that right? Yes. Right. Here is my skin, I'm glowing. It honestly felt so hydrating and nourishing and Oh, it was amazing. I fell asleep. Oh, guys. <sighs> Yesterday, I um, went over to Amelia's. Sorry, dishes. Went over to Amelia's for dinner. Insert clip now. Oh, my God. Dinner at Amelia's. Don't mind if I do. Everyone, this is as gorgeous in real life as it looks on her vlogs. <laughs> and look at the crispy rice. I broke it, but I think it will be okay. Do you want still a sparkling? Oh my god. Do you have Fiji? JK. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, <laughs> I'll have still. What will Dookie have? Oh, he's so handsome. He got a blowout. He got a blowout. Yesterday I was just so anxious. Like, I know moving is stressful. Everybody gets stressed when they move, but I just feel like I've never been this stressed to move. I don't even know why. I think it's just like I'm stressed in general. <laughs> like I'm very stressed right now in my life. Um, just so much to do. And I'm moving, not tomorrow, but the day after. And can you see all this stuff? And I'm just like not even, not even close. <laughs> and I was supposed to go to some events tonight and tomorrow night, it's just not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, I had a panic attack yesterday when I got home um, after Amelia's, which was nothing to do with the dinner, but I'm just, I think I'm just tired. And I've, this is TMI, but I've had my period for like seven days, which that's never happened to me before. And I just feel like my body's like shutting down. But anyways, and then like, I also, you guys don't know this, but with Mirror Water, um, we've had like a lot of team changes. So a couple of people left and then I hired new people who've just joined and they're doing amazing, but you know, that's a, a lot of change. And yeah, there's just like stuff going on all the time so I'm I can just like feel my breath is like so shallow but what I'm gonna do now is take a break from my laptop like first of all who can work like this oh lordy um I'm gonna take a little break from the laptop and I'm gonna plant I basically bought these planters there goes Effie <laughs> I don't know if you can see her um I basically bought these planters. No, not these. Where are they? They're in the house somewhere. Oh God. Here they are. I got these like cement pots and I want to replant my pots in here. So let's do that. And I want to do this before I move because it's just easier because we have a garden here. realize that pot I bought is actually too small 
for that plant. Okay, these are definitely looking good. So I'm gonna leave these out here. Hopefully they survive the cold um, for two days and then they're gonna come to the new place. This one, I don't actually have a plant for this one, but I'm gonna keep the pot and get something later. Oh gosh. I am so frazzled today and I just cannot stay focused. And I have filled up my car with things that I need to take to the dump. One of my favorite places is the dump. Um, because I, oh, because <laughs> I just hate clutter. And I just have like a bunch of old stuff that I just need to take there and like books that I want to donate. And they, it's like a one stop shop. You can donate books, clothes, you can get rid of stuff, you can recycle cardboard there. I mean, I love the dump. Anyway, I really did not feel like going today, but I packed up the car and I thought, okay, just do this today so you don't have to do this tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. I'm doing this for my future self. This is gonna be one of Effie's last little walks in the neighborhood. She has no idea that she's about to move across London. It's turned to autumn weather overnight. I don't know how this has happened. Like two days ago, it was like 35 degrees. Now it's, well, you can see it. The leaves are on the ground. So that's kind of depressing, but it's okay. It's also exciting. I like autumn. It's about 4.30 and I think I'm gonna go grab my laptop, work from bed, and then finish up any last minute packing tonight. And then, yeah. So the next vlog will be my moving vlog. And I'm also gonna be documenting my move on Instagram just because I wanna torture myself even more with more things to do. <laughs> but I love watching moving vlogs. I don't know, there's something about them that I just really enjoy. And I'm gonna do a tour of um, the new flat. So. See you later.